You look... different? My aunt remarked. Her eyes narrowed as they scanned my 13-year-old frame. It was a seemingly innocuous comment, yet it landed like a punch to my stomach. It was the first time I became aware of my body in a way that felt uncomfortable, dissected under a stranger's gaze. That day, a seed of self-doubt was planted, and my reflection in the mirror began to distort, no longer a true image, but a canvas for criticism. Dinner that night was a blur. My aunt's words echoed in my ears, drowning out the usual dinner chatter. I excused myself early, seeking refuge in the solitude of my room. Standing before the mirror, I examined my reflection with newfound scrutiny. My once familiar form felt foreign, flaws magnified under the harsh scrutiny of my inner critic. The gentle curves of my body, once sources of childish delight, now morphed into imperfections, fuel for a growing anxiety that took root in my heart. That night I went to bed with a knot of unease in my stomach. The carefree joy of adolescence seemed to slip away, replaced by a gnawing sense of inadequacy. My aunt's words, though unintentional, had pierced the veil of childhood innocence, forcing me to confront the societal pressures that dictate beauty standards. This was my first encounter with the insidious nature of body image issues, a silent struggle that millions face, often hidden behind forced smiles and carefully curated facades. The next morning, I woke up with the same unsettling feeling. My reflection in the mirror seemed to mock me, amplifying every perceived flaw. The once comforting ritual of getting ready for school became a battleground, each clothing choice a referendum on my self-worth. I found myself gravitating towards baggy clothes, attempting to conceal the body that now felt like a source of shame. Are you all right, honey? My mom's voice was laced with concern as she noticed my sullen demeanor. I mumbled a response, unable to articulate the storm brewing within me. How could I explain this sudden shift in perception, the way my own reflection felt like a stranger? The insidious whispers of self-doubt had begun to permeate my thoughts, chipping away at my confidence and leaving me feeling lost and alone. School offered no respite. The hallways buzzed with conversations about diets, weight loss, and the latest fashion trends. Images of impossibly thin models plastered the covers of magazines, their airbrushed perfection a stark contrast to my own perceived imperfections. The media's relentless portrayal of an idealized body type further fueled my anxieties, making me feel like an outsider in a world obsessed with thinness. Days turned into weeks, and the feeling of inadequacy only deepened. I became obsessed with my reflection, spending hours scrutinizing every inch of my body. The mirror, once a neutral object, transformed into a cruel judge, reflecting back a distorted image of myself. The more I stared, the more flaws I discovered, fueling a cycle of self-criticism that spiraled out of control. My eating habits changed drastically. I started skipping meals, convinced that denying myself food was the only way to control my appearance. The initial pangs of hunger were quickly replaced by a perverse sense of accomplishment. Each missed meal felt like a victory, a sign that I was finally gaining control over my body. But the victory was a hollow one. As my weight plummeted, so did my energy levels. I felt constantly fatigued, unable to focus in class or engage in activities I once enjoyed. My social life dwindled as I withdrew from friends and family, isolating myself in a world consumed by my distorted body image. The once vibrant colors of my life faded into a dull gray, overshadowed by the overwhelming darkness of my eating disorder. What I was experiencing, though I didn't know it then, was anorexia nervosa, a complex and often misunderstood eating disorder. Anorexia is not simply about vanity or a desire to be thin. It's a serious mental illness characterized by a distorted body image and an intense fear of gaining weight. This fear drives individuals to engage in extreme behaviors, such as severe calorie restriction, excessive exercise, and purging to maintain a dangerously low body weight. It's not about the food, my therapist explained gently, her words piercing through the fog of my distorted thoughts. It's about the underlying emotions, the anxieties and insecurities that you're trying to control through your relationship with food. Her words were a revelation, shedding light on the deeper psychological roots of my condition. My struggle with food was not about superficial desires. It was a symptom of a much deeper struggle with self-worth and control. Anorexia is a multifaceted illness often intertwined with other mental health conditions like anxiety, depression, and obsessive-compulsive disorder. The relentless pursuit of thinness becomes a coping mechanism, a way to manage overwhelming emotions and regain a sense of control in a world that feels chaotic and unpredictable. 
But this control comes at a steep price, jeopardizing both physical and mental well-being. The causes of anorexia are complex and varied, a labyrinth of genetic predispositions, environmental influences, and psychological triggers. While societal pressure to conform to unrealistic beauty standards plays a significant role, it's not the sole culprit. Family dynamics, personality traits, and traumatic experiences can also contribute to the development of this complex disorder. We're all susceptible to the messages we're bombarded with, my therapist explained, but some individuals are more vulnerable due to a combination of factors. For some, it might be a genetic predisposition towards perfectionism, a need for control that manifests in their relationship with food. For others, it could be a history of trauma or abuse leading to a desire to disappear, to make themselves invisible to the outside world. The media's relentless glorification of thinness creates a fertile ground for body image issues to flourish. Images of airbrushed models and celebrities, often digitally altered to achieve an unattainable standard of beauty, permeate our daily lives. These images, though often unrealistic, become the benchmark against which we measure ourselves, fueling a sense of inadequacy and a desire to conform. The effects of anorexia are devastating, impacting every aspect of an individual's life. The body, starved of essential nutrients, begins to shut down. Organs struggle to function, bones weaken, and the cardiovascular system is put under immense strain. Hair loss, brittle nails, and dry skin are just some of the visible signs of the internal damage being inflicted. Beyond the physical consequences, the mental and emotional toll is equally profound. Anorexia fosters a distorted perception of self, trapping individuals in a cycle of self-criticism and obsessive thoughts. Social withdrawal, depression, and anxiety become constant companions, further isolating individuals from the support they desperately need. Anorexia is a life-threatening illness, the relentless pursuit of thinness can lead to long-term health complications, including heart problems, kidney failure, and infertility. In severe cases, it can even be fatal. Despite the grim reality of anorexia, there is hope. Recovery is possible, and countless individuals have bravely battled this illness and emerged victorious. Their stories offer a beacon of light, a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the transformative power of seeking help. It was a long and arduous journey, shared Sarah, a survivor of anorexia, her voice filled with quiet strength. But with the support of my family, my therapist, and a dedicated medical team, I was able to reclaim my life. Sarah's story, like those of countless others, underscores the importance of a multidisciplinary approach to treatment, encompassing therapy, nutritional counseling, and medical intervention. Recovery from anorexia is not a linear process. It's a journey marked by setbacks and triumphs, a constant process of learning to challenge distorted thoughts and develop a healthier relationship with food and body image. But with each step forward, hope rekindles, paving the way towards a brighter future. Breaking free from the grip of anorexia requires courage, vulnerability, and a willingness to confront deeply ingrained beliefs. It means seeking help, reaching out to trusted individuals, and acknowledging the need for support. It means finding your voice, speaking your truth, and refusing to let the illness define you. The first step was the hardest, confessed Emily, another survivor of anorexia. Admitting I needed help felt like a sign of weakness, but it was actually the bravest thing I've ever done. Emily's experience highlights the importance of breaking the silence surrounding eating disorders. Sharing our stories, both the struggles and the triumphs, can empower others to seek help and dismantle the stigma that often prevents individuals from seeking the support they need. Openly discussing eating disorders, challenging unrealistic beauty standards, and fostering a culture of body positivity are crucial steps towards creating a more supportive and understanding environment. Recovery from anorexia is not about achieving a specific body size or conforming to societal ideals. It's about reclaiming your life rediscovering your passions, and learning to value yourself beyond the confines of physical appearance. It's about embracing your individuality, celebrating your strengths, and recognizing that true beauty lies in the richness of your character, not the narrowness of your waistline. Recovery taught me to appreciate my body for what it can do, not just how it looks, shared Michael, a survivor of anorexia, his voice filled with newfound confidence. Michael's journey reflects a crucial aspect of recovery, shifting the focus from external validation to internal acceptance. Breaking free from anorexia 
involves challenging the societal narratives that dictate beauty standards and embracing a more inclusive definition of beauty. It means celebrating diversity, honoring all body types, and recognizing that health and well-being come in all shapes and sizes. Anorexia nervosa is a complex and challenging illness, but it's not insurmountable. By fostering empathy, understanding, and open dialogue, we can create a world where individuals struggling with eating disorders feel safe to seek help and embark on the journey towards recovery. Let's break the silence surrounding eating disorders. Let's challenge the unrealistic beauty standards that fuel body image issues. Let's create a world where everyone feels seen, valued, and supported, regardless of their size or shape. Share your story, offer words of encouragement, and stand in solidarity with those battling eating disorders. Together, we can create a world where recovery is not a distant dream, but a tangible reality for all.